。好，二零二零年嘅第一条题目咧就系、是、问光合作用嘅。咁下面呢幅图咧就显示咗一个叶绿体嘅构造啦。咁有翻一个好习惯咯 ，A、B、C、D、E 咧写翻个名俾佢先啦。A 咧就系基质。B 咧就係類狼體 ，C 咧就係一同嘅，所以咧就係英文咧就係 granum， 中文咧就係基粒啦。咁如果啦佢係問多幾同嘅話啦，即係眾數啦，就係 granula 啦。D 咧就係內膜 ，E 咧就係外膜啦。咁 Part A 佢就問啦，利用上圖嘅字母去列出所有含有光合作用色素嘅構造。咁其實呢個題目啦都好直白㗎啦，講到明光合作用嘅色素，泛指嘅當然係葉綠素啦，當然啦有其他色素嘅，咁但係葉綠素喺邊度呢？你一定要知㗎嘛，所以其實佢就係考緊我哋葉綠體嘅適應性特徵啦。一開始，內狼體就係一個狼狀、內有空間嘅結構，就提供一個大嘅表面面積啦，去擺放多一啲嘅葉綠素嘅。而內狼體咧就會係層層疊咁搭起上嚟，就成為一同咧，就係基粒啦，咁 granum 啦，咁多幾同嘅話就係 granula 啦，咁就係眾數嚟嘅。咁所以呢條題目啦，答案咧就會係 B 同埋 C 啦。记紧啦，唔好走去答类狼体同埋基粒 granum 或者 granula， 因为题目系叫你用英文字母去作答嘅。而二零一六年咧，嗰条就叫你串字啦；二零二零年咧，就叫你做配对啦。咁所以啦，小心睇题目又需要嘅，串下字都需要嘅，因为做呢啲题目咧，串错字咧就冇分噶啦。而如果佢系框住一同嘅话咧，咁当你要写名嘅话，就写翻 granum 咯，就唔好写 granula 咯。跟住啦，就去到 part B 啦，就讲构造 C， 亦即係基粒啦 ，granum 啦，能够产生一啲供应俾卡尔文循环使用嘅中间物，就要我哋写出呢啲中间物嘅名啦。咁当然呢条题目呢，就係考我哋有关于基粒嘅功能啦。基粒佢入面有叶绿素嘅分子，而叶绿素分子就係吸光能，进行光化学反应。咁当你讲完光化学反应，你就要拉返题目讲卡尔文循环咯。所以题目就係考緊我哋光化学反应同埋卡尔文循环之间嘅关系啦。光化学反应所能够产生嘅就係 ATP 啦、NADPH 啦，又或者叫还原咗嘅 NAD。咩叫还原啊？就係、是、加咗个 H 俾佢，加咗个 hydrogen 俾佢啦。咁所以答案呢都有好几款嘅。而你睇返书本嘅话呢，最简单就係 ATP。同埋 NADPH 啦，跟住啦就嚟到 Part C 啦。呢幅图咧就显示咗一个简化咗嘅卡尔文循环啦。咁呢幅图就显示咗三个阶段啦，一二三啦。咁细粒嘅咧就系碳，大粒嘅咧就系磷酸啦。而题目咧就叫我哋咧做翻个配对咯。究竟边一个步骤系有二氧化碳受体嘅再生咧？边一个步骤系三碳化合物嘅还原咧？边一个步骤系二氧化碳嘅固定咧？咁呢个题目啦，同样都系咁直接嘅，就系、是、要我哋去分辨返成个卡尔文循环嘅重要步骤啦。第一步呢，就系、是、二氧化碳嘅固定，咩叫固定啊？呢、這个二氧化碳嘅受体同埋二氧化碳做一个结合啦，呢、這个就系固定嘅一个过程嚟嘅。然后啦，就去到三碳化合物嘅还原啦，咩叫做 reduction 还原啊？就系、是、加个 H 俾佢，加个 hydrogen 俾佢。而过程当中呢，我哋亦都要利用到 ATP 嘅。因为我哋要将呢个氢嘅原子同呢个三碳嘅化合物做一个还原作用，要加嘢啊嘛，砌嘢合成代谢系需要能量啊嘛。咁所以呢度呢都需要有埋 ATP 嘅。去到第三步呢，就係、是、二氧化碳受体嘅再生啦。咁讲到明叫卡尔文循环啦，咁即係有啲嘢係要返返出嚟㗎嘛。咁係咩呢？就係、是、二氧化碳嘅受体啦，亦即係呢个五个碳嘅化合物啦。好，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次呢个题目呢，係每一个部分都係非常之直接。喺上你会发现考试卷嘅呢幅图同书嗰幅图接近一模一样咁滞啊。所以点解话有溫书呢？你就一定识㗎啦。有返叶绿体，一定考下结构、功能同埋适应性嘅特征啦。基质同埋类狼体啦，佢哋各自有啲咩嘅描述呢？佢哋有啲咩嘅适应性嘅特征呢？大家係要溫返嘅。然后啦，就问我哋有关于光化学反应同埋卡尔文循环嘅概念啦。先问我哋啦，喺个叶绿体入面有咩嘅结构，佢系有光合作用嘅色素嘅。
，跟住咧就問我哋啦，卡爾文循環嘅每一個步驟究竟佢做緊啲乜嘢嘢啦？然後再加埋嘅呢，就係功能性關係啦。記唔記得 Part B 佢就問我哋啊，喺光化學反應究竟製造咗啲乜嘢去俾我哋嘅卡爾文循環去用嘅？到 Part C 就問翻我哋有關於二氧化碳受體嘅再生，係咪都係講緊卡爾文循環點樣又影響翻個光化學反應啊？咁所以啦，過往咧都係光合作用嘅題目啦，咁啊快快手睇翻温下書咯噃。Two O Two O Question One is about photosynthesis, so you can see the diagram shows the structure of a corpus, and as a good practice, you need to label for the structures A, B, C, D, E. A is the stroma. B is the phalagoid, C is the granum, and what if the structure is circled this granum and this granum, so you need to name it as grana. And then D is the inner membrane, and E is the outer membrane. So for part A, use the letters from the diagram A, B, C, D, E. List all of the structures that contain the photosynthetic pigments. So that's why this question is very straightforward. It asks us to recall the adaptive feature of the corpus. Firstly, we talk about the phalagoid. It is a membrane sac with space inside, and it provides a larger surface area to pack more chlorophyll, which is the photosynthetic pigment. It describes the phalagoids are arranged in a stack called grana. And according to this concept, we know that the answer is B and C. Remember, we need to use the letters to answer this question. So I need to recall the question in 2016. It asks us to spell the name of the structure, and this time it asks us for the matching. So read the question carefully to know that you need to spell it correctly or use the letter for the answer. And then for part B, structure C produces the intermediates that are used in the Kelvin cycle, and you need to state the intermediate. So this part is also very straightforward. We need to recall the function of the granum. For the granum, they contain the chlorophyll molecules. Big granum, it contains the phalagoid, and inside the phalagoid, it contains the chlorophyll molecules. And the chlorophyll molecules, they will absorb the light energy for the photochemical reaction. Therefore, this question is checking us the concept that what is the relationship between the photochemical reaction and the Kelvin cycle. So you can see that for the photosynthetic reaction, it produces the ATP and the NADPH for the Kelvin cycle. So you can see the answer: ATP, NADPH, or the NADPH2, or the reduced NAD. What does it mean? The reduced? It means we add the hydrogen to the NAD. And then for part C, this diagram shows a simplified Kelvin cycle, and you can see three phases. And we need to match these three phases with the following reaction: regeneration of the carbon dioxide receptor, which is the 5C compound, and reduction of the 3C compound. It means we put the hydrogen with the 3C compound, and the carbon dioxide fixation. It means the carbon dioxide they really enter the Kelvin cycle. This question is checking us to identify the major steps in the Kelvin cycle. First. First step is the phase three. Under the reaction of the M side, the molecule of the carbon dioxide is accepted by the 5C compound, the carbon dioxide acceptor, to form two 3C compound. Therefore, carbon dioxide fixation is phase three. And then we go through the phase one, which is the using energy from the ATP and hydrogen from the NADPH. So the three C compound is reduced to the trials phosphate, two molecules of the trial phosphate, then combine to form one molecule of the glucose. For the answer is phase one. And for the last step, it is the regeneration of the carbon dioxide acceptor. So we know that it is the Kelvin cycle. Therefore, there must be something regenerate. It is the five C compound. Compound for the carbon dioxide acceptor because it needs to be regenerated to accept another carbon dioxide for the Kelvin cycle. Therefore, we have the answer: phase two, phase one, and phase three. So let's take a look at the curriculum mapping. The whole question is very straightforward. It checks us the concept of the corpus. Therefore, you need to recall the diagram from the book. Actually, you can see that how similar they are, and they are checking us the concept of the structure, function, and the adaptive features. Remember the network study method, the FF study method, feature and function. And then the question checks us the concept about the photochemical reaction. Which part of the corpus they contain the photosynthetic pigment to absorb the light for the photochemical? Reaction, and then for the Kelvin cycle, what are the major steps in this cycle? 
and then it checks us the concept between the photochemical reaction and the Kelvin cycle, which is the functional relationship, not only between these two actions, but also the functional relationship between the stroma and the phalagoid. You can see from part B, the intermediate produced by the photochemical reaction will be used in the Kelvin cycle. And in Kelvin cycle, you know that we need to regenerate to regenerate the 5C compound or regenerate the ADP and NADP. Therefore, you really need to do some revision about the functional relationship. So remember to watch the videos about the photosynthesis for revision.